Okay, folks, we did this Hawaii style. Can you get a big aloha? Aloha! All right, welcome to the Pineapple Express train. For your safety, please keep your hands and feet in the train at all times. Do not throw anything or anybody off the train.
viruses. It confines the fumigant, helps hold in moisture, controls weeds and pests, and heats the soil to stimulate root growth. Once the fig is prepared, the planting process begins. The root of the top of the pineapple, called the crown, is the preferred planting material used in Hawaii. Each crown is planted by hand using a spade shaped tool. Recruiters take a sheet of plastic mulch. They then place the bottom of the crown directly below the skull. Over 10,000 pineapples are made for nearly half an acre. To irrigate the fields, a tube is placed between the rows of pineapple. When water is needed, it is stripped from the tubes directly onto the root. Fertilization is done by spraying a mixture of liquid nitrogen and iron directly on the plant. Harvesting, like planting, is also done by hand. The first crop, called a plant crop, takes about 20 minutes. The next crop, called the first two, takes another 15 months. To harvest the pineapple, a crew of workers will walk through the rows of pineapple, twisting off the fruit and placing it on a boom conveyor. The fruit then moves along the conveyor to an infield harvester where the fruit is graded and packed in carpets. Even in the hot summer months, the workers must wear heavy clothing, gloves, and mesh goggles to protect themselves from the sharp, rigid leaves of the pineapple plant. After the last crop is harvested, the fig is knocked down and a new cycle begins. So, how do you know when a pineapple is ready to be picked? Generally, you want to select a pineapple that is plump and fresh looking. In other words, the leaves of the crown should be fresh and green and the body of the pineapple firm. Keep in mind, though, a large pineapple doesn't necessarily mean the fruit will be better tasting or any riper than a smaller pineapple. Also, the color of the shell is not necessarily a sign of maturity or ripeness. A pineapple can be ripe when the shell is practically all green. Once the pineapple is picked, it'll not ripen any further or get any sweeter. So, the sooner they are eaten, the better. If you don't plan to use a fresh pineapple right away, store it in your refrigerator. It'll keep longer. Here's a little trivia for you. Did you know that pineapple is an excellent way to cap off a heavy meal? That's because fresh pineapples contain the enzyme bromelain, which is a natural digestive agent that breaks down protein. And for you aspiring chefs, here's a cooking tip. Use fresh pineapple in a meat marinade to add flavor and to help tenderize the meat. Besides being a tasty fruit, the pineapple is also regarded as a symbol of hospitality. Long ago, when the European colonists first traveled to North America, they brought pineapples with them, which they would place out on their porch, door, or entrance to their home. This was a symbol to their neighbors that when the porch is over, the door is open, food and drink for everyone. establishments throughout the world. Whew, that's a lot of information. I think it's time for a musical interlude. Here's another song by the group Aloha DNA.
reservoir out here. It's called the Tanana Reservoir and was constructed in the early 1900s. The reservoir holds roughly 155 million gallons of water and is used to irrigate the pineapple fields and other agricultural crops in this area. Now, if anyone tells you about a two-headed swamp creature seen in the deep end of the reservoir, don't you? We haven't seen it. But, uh, just in case, all large animal buses will be safely back at the station. <laughs> so now we know a little bit more about pineapple and how it's grown and harvested. Who is responsible for developing the pineapple industry into what it is today? Does the name Gold sound familiar? James Drummond Gold arrived in Hawaii in 1899. The following year, he bought a 61-acre tract of land right here in Wakawa, where he established his first pineapple plantation. James Dole wasn't the first person to grow pineapple in Hawaii, but he was certainly the most influential. Early on, James Dole knew that there would be a huge market for pineapple outside of Hawaii. However, the only logical way to reach this market was to pack and seal the pineapples in cans. As a result, in 1901, James Dole built a pineapple cannery here in Wahiwa, which marked the start of a Hawaiian pineapple company. Several years later, in 1907, the cannery was relocated to Honolulu Harbor, closer to the labor pool, shipping ports, and supplies. The Honolulu cannery, at one time the world's largest cannery, remained in operation until 1991. As the demand for pineapple grew, so did the need for more land. So, in 1922, James Dole bought the island of Hawaii and converted it from a discovered island with 150 people into the largest pineapple plantation in the world. For nearly 70 years, Hawaii, known as the Pineapple Island, operated as a pineapple plantation. In its heyday, the tiny island of Hawaii supplied nearly 75% of the world's pineapple. By the 1930s, Hawaii was known as the pineapple capital of the world, and James Dole, the pineapple king. The Hawaiian Pineapple Company he founded was now processing over 200,000 tons of pineapple a year, helping to make pineapple of a second largest industry, responsible for 90% of all the canned pineapple produced in the world. By the 1940s, there were eight pineapple companies operating in Hawaii. By far the largest was James Dole's Hawaiian Pineapple Company, with plantations on Oahu and Hawaii, and the cannery in Honolulu. At the time, the Hawaiian Pineapple Company controlled over half of all the pineapple land in Hawaii, employed nearly 3,000 permanent employees, and over 4,000 seasonal employees. James Drummond Dole passed away in 1958 at the age of 80.
master's skills in the world's largest maze, stroll through the plantation garden, or cool down with a world-famous toad inside the gift center. If you plan on making your way to the North Shore, turn right as you exit the parking lot and head north on Kamehameha Highway for about 10 minutes. Besides having some of the world's best beaches, you'll also find dozens of unique shops, art galleries, and restaurants. 